Class 2, Properties of Parallelograms. Well, let's start by defining what a parallelogram is. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with both pairs of opposite sides parallel. So this side parallel to its opposite, and this side parallel to its opposite side. Simple and clear. Now in this lesson, we're going to cover four different theorems. So I'm going to name the theorems, and then next to it, we're going to show a visual representation to make them clear. So the first one, if a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then its opposite sides are congruent. So if segment AB is congruent to segment DC, AD is congruent to segment BC. So if I give it a value, if segment AB is equal to 10 centimeters, then we know segment DC is also equal to 10 centimeters, because opposite sides are congruent. If AD is equal to 6 centimeters, BC is also equal to 6 centimeters. Opposite sides congruent. Simple. Our next theorem. If a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then its consecutive angles are supplementary. Consecutive angles are supplementary. First of all, do we remember what supplementary means? We had complementary and supplementary, and an easy way to remember. C for complementary, S for supplementary. So with the C, we can form a 90 degree, and with the S, we can form a 180 degree. So that's one way to remember that supplementary means angles that are equal to 180. All right, that was just a sidebar. And consecutive means next to each other. So if we give angle D a value of 50 degrees, we know angle A is consecutive, is next to angle D. So to find out its value, we would do 180 minus 50 to get 130. So angle A and angle D are supplementary. They are equal to 180 degrees. Number one and number two, solve for X. All right, let's look at number one. What do we know of angle U and angle V? We know they are supplementary angles because they're consecutive. And we know that supplementary angles equal to 180. So let's solve it this way. So we know angle V is 22x minus 2. We add it to angle U, which is 94 degrees. They are supplementary, therefore they are equal to 180 degrees. Let's solve for x. Combining our like terms, negative 2 plus 94. All right, let me bring down the 22x. Negative 2 plus 94 is 92. Bring down the 180. So we're trying to isolate our x here. Let's subtract 92 from both sides. That gives us 22x equals 180 minus 92 is 88. Now we need to divide both sides by 22 to isolate the variable. 22 divided by 22 is 1. X is equal to 4. Here we go. So number 1, X is equal to 4 because we knew they were supplementary angles. Now looking at number 2, solving for X, we know that opposite sides are congruent. This one's simple. We know LM is congruent to ON. So we can set it up 17 is equal to X plus 7. Solving for x, one-step equation. Subtract 7 to both sides. And we are left with x is equal to 10. Simple algebra. 